thanks for checking out scotty's hobbies today we have another quick emissions locations video here we have a twenty fourteen dodge ram fifteen hundred with a five point seven liter engine in it and it here's your underhood label this label lets you know what is in your vehicle on top of the year uh, of the vehicle and some important information well to start you off under your engine cover right here you have your pcd valve on the back side of your engine right under the firewall pretty much it's kind of hard to see without taking this cover completely off there's a ring around it if you do need one you can look for a link in the description to buy a pcd valve and make sure you check out my other video i do have a video on replacing that it's really easy and from what i hear it's a common issue common thing like that here on the passenger side you're going to find your emissions vapor purge solenoid this is the vapor solenoid that releases emissions into or emission vapors into the intake system in the combustion process and get properly to the tailpipe you're having a filling issue which cooking to the very fast is not an issue to avoid vent solenoid issue but for some reason i don't show you that in this video here we go next are going to be your oxygen sensors or air fuel ratio sensors bank one sensor one right here on top of the catalytic converter right outside the collector here's bank one sensor two this is your catalyst efficiency oxygen sensor in the middle of your catalytic converter so if you have a lean code your pre-cat oxygen sensors might be bad if you or same with a rich code if you have a catalyst code it's going to use your rear o2 sensor line to talk to the pole here's your bank two sensor two this is a passenger side oxygen sensor this is the catalyst efficiency sensor and right above it right outside the collector you're going to find your bank two sensor one oxygen sensor again that would be a lean or rich i usually only replace oxygen sensors if they have a heater fault if they have other faults i make sure that it's not just seeing a problem uh, and not the fault so thanks for watching like subscribe and share i'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video